As part of achieving one of its goals to make schools innovation hubs for quality teaching and learning, the Department of Education has piloted two e-learning systems in 100 schools in two of KwaZulu-Natal's poorest districts. Now the department is rolling out the new modernized way of teaching and, le and learning to 54 schools, all equipped with computers, laptops and smart devices. Today, Deputy Minister of Basic Education, Dr. Regina Mhaule, is at the Cosmo Primary School in Howick, SABC News reporter. Sipiwe Makanya has more. Well, thank you very much. The Department of Basic Education here in KwaZulu Natal has just officially launched a program which is the currently termed New Modernized Way of Teaching Learning, which encompasses the issue of using e learning in all the public schools to ensure that uh, learners from uh, even disadvantaged schools do benefit from the availability of uh, new and innovative ways of teaching. Let's welcome the MEC for Education in Guazu Natal, Mr. Guazim Shengu, to talk to us more about this uh, particular program. Mr. Guazim Shengu, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. Perhaps the issue that most people are, are wondering is how do you ensure the safety of this equipment which is currently now being made available to the learners? Well, uh, we have provided for safety features in the school. Um, obviously, I can't detail all of them. But uh, we'll continue also to rely on the communities uh, themselves to protect uh, these centers of development. Uh, because without the active involvement of communities in protecting our schools, we'll continue to have schools vandalized and backlit uh, by, by criminals, stealing the necessary equipment that uh, we have uh, invested in these schools and selling it back to communities at a cheaper prices. So that is why we are saying to communities, don't allow yourself to be a market of stolen properties because these things that uh, are sold to you at a cheaper prices are stolen in schools and therefore depriving your own learners, your own kids, uh, what uh, we want to build as a brighter future for them because uh, I'm sure we'll have seen the state of the art technology that we have deployed in the schools and we're hoping that we'll not be coming back uh, in a few months time and be told that uh, some of the things have been stolen. So we'll continue to mobilize communities uh, working with different uh, community organs to ensure that all schools in the province are protected by communities themselves but also as we build and refurbish schools as we deploy this technology we're also putting other necessary uh, safety features in, in, in our schools. Mm -hmm. Just in terms of your targets, MEC, how many schools are you looking to actually assist uh, through this program? Well, obviously, the pace is dependent on the availability of funds. Uh, for this uh, financial year, which is 2021-2022, uh, the funds are only allowing us to deploy such technology in only about 54 schools in the province of Kosovo Natal. But the intention is that all our schools must be uh, compliant with uh, what you see today, uh, which we call the, the new generation schools, because um, schools uh, should also move up with times in terms of uh, the resources that they have. They should be uh, able, I mean, they should able, enable educators themselves to teach in a manner that is modern, in a manner that is uh, aligned to the fact that we are an information-driven society. That is why we have uh, resourced all educators here with laptops so that they can start now planning their lessons and delivering uh, lessons in classroom through uh, laptops. Uh, the principal himself is quite uh, resourced so that uh, as a CEO of the school, uh, he, she man he manages the school in a, in a, in a proper way. Learners have been uh, given uh, gadgets, but which will be uh, kept in a school because we don't want them to take them to, to, to back homes. Um, so all the necessary resources in our view that are required for the modern way of teaching and learning uh, have been deployed in the school. So what we do now, what we're going to do now will be to monitor if there is indeed effective utilization of this uh, technology because we don't want to deploy and then things get uh, to life fallow because they're not uh, properly used. But we, are, we have also trained educators to make sure that uh, they, they, they fully utilize uh, all the technology that has been deployed in the school. Mm -hmm. I was just about to ask you that question, MEC, in terms of the training of or the educators. How sure are you that uh, by the time that this program is rolled out to, to these other schools that are going to be benefiting, they will be in a position to actually utilize this? One of the major decisions we have taken uh, is, is, to, is to say, the one person skills levy that uh, is detected every year um, is used fully and wholly for teacher development. Uh, that is why we are not going to simply throw gadgets and resources to schools without training educators. So in each and every school that we are going to invest, the first thing that we will do is to train uh, the educators so that they are able to, to fully utilize 
uh, the investment that we are making. So teacher development remains the priority of the department from now going forward. Mm. Another issue is the issue of network, especially in rural schools. How are you going to ensure that the issue of connectivity is addressed? We are working closely with the uh, different network uh, service providers, uh, but also there is a program of connectivity across the province which is led by Department of Economic Development, and we are working uh, hand in glove with them so that uh, we don't move in separate directions. Uh, we, we, we follow each other so that we don't deploy technology where there is no connectivity, and then they connect other places where we have not uh, reached in terms of uh, this investment. But we must also indicate that there are two platforms in, uh, that have been developed as part of the ICT package in the province. The one works online, which is the one that we have seen here. The other one probably will remember that we launched at Ubulinga primary, I mean at Ubulinga secondary school in Peckville, which works offline. So we are going to, to move uh, with those two packages so that there is no school that is left behind in the province on the basis that uh, uh, there is a challenge of network. Thank you very much for your time. That's the MEC for Education here in KwaZulu-Natal, Mr. Kwazi Mshengo. Expect to enjoy this.